Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a SmartSuite implementation partner. Let's take a look at a couple examples of how powerful SmartSuite formulas can be. Let's say we want to invoice our customers. And so I'm on this invoice record. We've got a rate, we've got a number of hours, and we want to multiply this together to get our subtotal. Well, here I've got a formula, and in this case, we're able to use our simple editor. So we can just say, hey, take this field that we have hours, choose an operator, so we're going to multiply this by our standard rate. And there we go. Right off the bat, we're able to calculate that that's $5,000. Now let's look at an example with dates. So I've got an invoice date for the invoice and we wanna say that it's due within 15 days or net 15. Well, in that case, we wanna be able to add those days. And so there's a special way to do this. If we click on modify field settings, now we've got a special kind of formula. And if you scroll down, we've got all these nice operators and different functions that we can use, which if you're coming from Google Sheets or Excel is gonna feel pretty familiar to you. So in this case, I'm choosing a date add function and I'm putting in my invoice date. I can just start searching by the field name and then I can click to use that. So we're gonna take this date and we're gonna add 15. And we're going to add the unit of days. And when we update this, then we should be able to see this calculates 15 days plus our invoice date. Let's say that hourly subtotal that we had, instead of invoicing at $50, Let's say on our contact record that this contractor, Angela, actually is invoicing at a higher rate. She has an hourly rate of $60. And you can see that we're storing that on the contacts record. Well, back on invoices, instead of having to create a lookup field and then reference that lookup field, this is one of my favorite features about SmartSuite formulas. Let me click and modify my field settings on this formula. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna search for that linked record, which is our contractor. And then I can use this nice dot notation and choose any fields that I want from that contractor, from the contact record. So in this case, we're using hourly rate. I can search for it. And now we're gonna multiply this by our number of hours. So we have the ability to choose fields from our related records to be able to use in our formulas, which makes it so much easier instead of creating lots of additional fields that we don't need. Now I've shown you some basic examples, but you can get as crazy as you want. So let's say we have an overage billing model and we want to be able to say, oh, we're actually gonna charge you time and a half if it's above 40 hours. Well, we can use conditional logic with an if. We can say, well, if it's under 40 hours, here's how much we're gonna charge. If it's over 40 hours, we're gonna charge this other amount. So you can build essentially whatever you can put your mind to inside of SmartSuite's formulas. Of course, the best formula is the one that helps you and your business or organization. So get started with SmartSuite today and check out formulas for yourself.